I just think that Chelian has achieved enough and there's no, there's nothing else that we could ask of her. Lance Whitaker, a veteran sports journalist who has covered five Olympic games, is correct when he said that Shelly Ann Fraser Price no longer has anything to prove to the world. She already reached unbelievable heights in her career, after all. Lance's Zone Interactive co-host, Ricardo Chambers, who also happens to be a Jamaican track and field athlete, took it a step further and said, in my opinion, I think Shelly Ann Fraser Price has become the face of track and field in many ways. Well, the face of track and field, Chambers' words, is planning to add more to her legacy. Whether a gold medal or a new record at the fast approaching Paris Olympics. So, to start her 2024 Olympic journey, the legendary Jamaican sprinter graced the track a few days ago after a 10 month long hiatus. As you all know, the 37 year old, fondly known as the Poly Rocket, has been dominating the tracks for over a decade now. But this year, the five world title holder is back to compete in what will be her fifth Olympic run. Weeks before the 2024 Jamaican Olympic trials, Fraser Price had been all set to earn the spot for her final Olympic appearance at the 2024 Summer Games in Paris. Should she successfully earn the Olympic quota, she will compete in the Olympics for the fifth time. The trials are scheduled to be held from June 27th to 30. According to the entries listed on the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association website, Fraser Price is set to compete in the 100 meter and the 200 meter. Ronaldo Walcott, her coach since 2020, said that Shelly Ann is hungry despite the success that's there before. The coach from Elite Performance Track Club in Kingston notably guided the three-time Olympic gold medalist to her fifth world title in the 100 meter in 2022 as well. He was alongside her as well when she lowered her personal best to 10.60 which puts her at number three on the world all-time list. In an interview with Sidious Mag, Walcott shared that he didn't have to tell Shelly Ann to do something twice. Matter of fact, she's probably going to be the one to nudge me, he admitted. He said that she would walk up to him and say, hey coach, what are we going to do tomorrow? What's the plan for tomorrow? He then explained that the Jamaican track star exhibits dedication to the sport. I think it's more a matter of perfecting your craft, perfecting the best stuff, he shared. Whatever you do, how do I become better at this, what I've been practicing? As he is coaching the Jamaican champion Elaine Thompson Hera as well, he was asked about insights on his work with the two Jamaican sprinting legends. It was then that he admitted that the two Olympians have different sessions. One person is better off in one thing and another one in the next thing, he explained but they also have very busy schedules and commitments, like photo shoots in the afternoon or midday, or they have a flight, so we do what is needed for each of them to get the best out. When asked about what he thinks the future holds for those two, he said, they may just be the catalyst for younger women, the next generation to even benefit more. I still believe that they will be marketed and highlighted in the way they truly deserve because they are not just one of the best, but some of the best athletes ever. And I hope that gets celebrated," Walcott added. Whether Fraser Price or Thompson Hera will be celebrating on the Paris podium, we will have to wait and see. Many are beginning to wonder about what Paris will look like for Shelly Ann, given that she just recently made her season debut. It may have been late, but she started her season in style by running 11.15 seconds in the women's 100 meter at the 2024 Jawa Olympic French Foray a few days ago. As earlier mentioned, and well, you probably knew anyway, she had been away from the track for almost 300 days because of an injury. Now that she's back, she began her Olympic preparations at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica, where she won the women's 100 meter sprint ahead of Jodian Williams and Sabrina Dockery. It's As you saw, Fraser Price came from behind to edge out Williams at the line. Her time of 11.15 seconds was notably the fastest time across the seven heats. Williams secured second place with a time of 11.20 seconds, while Sabrina Dockery of Lakovia High finished third in 11.46 seconds. 
With high expectations from the crowd inside the National Stadium, many fans were left with mixed feelings. Although she won the race, some found her performance a little lacking. They pointed out that the typically silky, smooth Fraser Price performance was noticeably absent. What's more, her signature bullet was nowhere to be seen, so she ended up having to come from behind to overtake Sprintech's Jodean Williams, 10 meters before the finish line. The Olympic French Foray, designed by the Jamaican Athletics Administrative Association, is made to help Jamaican athletes prepare for the Summer Olympics next month. Suffice it to say that with the way things are going, some fans are a little doubtful about Shelly Ann bagging medals from her fifth and final Olympics. Oh, wait, you do know this would be her last, right? For those who didn't, you should know that yes, the 2024 season will be the final in her illustrious career. Three-time Olympic gold medalist Shelly Ann Fraser-Price has announced she'll re be retiring following the 2024 Paris Olympics. After the 2024 Paris Olympics, she aims to spend more time with her family. The three-time Olympic champion, revered as one of the greatest sprinters in history, claimed her first 100-meter Olympic gold in 2008, making history as the first Caribbean woman to achieve such a feat. She went on to defend her title in the 2012 London Olympics and battled through injury to secure bronze in the 2016 Rio Olympics, followed by a silver in the relay. In an interview with Essence.com, the legendary track star said that her family was the key to her decision. There's not a day I'm getting up to go practice and I'm like, I'm over this, she admitted. My son needs me. My husband and I have been together since before I won in 2008. He has sacrificed for me. We're a partnership, a team. And it's because of that support that I'm able to do the things that I have been doing for all these years and I think I now owe it to them to do something else. Her retirement isn't the end of her sports journey though. Once she's off the track for good after Paris, she'll remain on the sidelines, continuing to building her legacy away from the track. The Pocket Rocket Foundation, which she set up in 2012, exists to enrich the lives of student athletes by supporting their educational development and fostering sustainable community building initiatives to enhance the lives of students and their families. The Jamaican champion is working equally as hard in the foundation as she believes that a solid education must never be compromised by athletic involvement and competition. At least that's what the foundation's website says. For Fraser Price, this is very important on a personal level as well. As she once said, You can have an impact and it's important to show people that you can't be selfish. It's not enough that we step on a track and we win medals. You have to think about the next generation that's coming after you and give them the opportunity to also dream and dream big. It goes without saying that her last couple of professional competitions are to be cherished. Even Fraser Price herself couldn't help but feel sentimental about it. I got Paris on my mind. My fifth and final one for all time. Like her, athletes all over the world are intending to dominate at their country's respective Olympic trials. Watch this for a sneak peek.